Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome. From the four corners of the world, the four corners of this room, the five stars now! So close. Vegas, a beautiful Las Vegas sign welcoming you to the Strip, and that's where Golden Boy is at this weekend. I'm Bethel Duran. Thank you for joining us wherever you may be. It's Mexico with William El Camarón Cepeda. Ladies and, and gentlemen, the UK's Maxi Hughes. Be yeah, they all came over and across the pond. I think they're all from Leeds. I was told to say Leeds, Leeds, Leeds. Over and over and over. Y saludos a toda la gente que nos está mirando en México. Camarón Cepeda, Maxi Hughes, the main event. Today, it's time for the weigh-in. Of course, this fight will be live on The Zone tomorrow from the Cosmopolitan in Las Vegas. The Chelsea Theater is where you're going to be able to watch that excellent fight at 135 pounds. All right, we're going to get the fighters on the scale. Thanks for joining us wherever you may be. Make sure you tag the Golden Boy social media accounts and make sure you take those pictures. Let us know where you're watching from right now. Let's go to our ring announcer for today and tomorrow, the one and only Joe Martinez. All right, thank you, Beth. And ladies and gentlemen, a very good afternoon. Welcome to the here in Las Vegas, Nevada, we are excited for another night of Oscar De La Hoya's Golden Boy Promotions Fight Night here in Las Vegas. And if you would, please join me in welcoming on the stage with me tonight, on my right, the president of Golden Boy Promotions, Eric Gomez. Also to my right, former world champion, the executioner, Bernard Hopkins. And his namesake is on the banner, the golden boy himself, Oscar De La Hoya. Well, fight fans, a fight will be live tomorrow night on DAZN Worldwide at 5 p.m. If you are in attendance tomorrow, please join us. A limited number of tickets are available for the show tomorrow evening here at the Cosmopolitan. Doors will open up at 4 o'clock. And again, we'll be broadcasting live all five bouts on DAZN. So let's get things started. It's all brought to you by Bet Online, your online sportsbook experts. Our first bout tomorrow, four rounds of welterweights with Brian Caraguando and Joel Iriarte. Caraguando will be first on the scale from Las Vegas, Nevada. This is our DAZN opener. Again, four rounds in the welterweight division. Guarcundo first on the scale for us as he just removes that top garment. And we'll get that official weight for you right now. Brian Guarcundo. 142.8 official. Guarcundo, 142.8. And his opponent tomorrow night, ready to make his professional debut. Here is Joel Iriarte. 145.2 official weight. Joel Iriarte in his pro debut out of Bakersfield, California. Once again, Guarcundo. Guaracundo comes in 142.8. And Iriarte 145.2 in this welterweight zone opener. The show opens tomorrow night live worldwide on the zone. Golden Boy Promotions bringing you Cepeda Hughes all around the world from here at the Cosmopolitan of Las Vegas, Nevada. Thank you, gentlemen. That'll be our opener live on the zone. A few tickets available. Ticketmaster.com is where you want to go get your tickets 
four Camarón Cepeda, Maxi Hughes, Joel Idiarte will be joining me in a few moments. Of course, it's Golden Boy Promotions in association with Debella Entertainment. It'll be a good fight brought to you tomorrow on The Zone. So all five fights that are going to be on the card will be shown on The Zone. So that's be really good for you. It'll be early start, though, 5 o'clock Pacific time. 8 o'clock Eastern, so that means you get a good Saturday afternoon, evening of boxing that you'll be able to watch on this Saturday. So Golden Boy is also going to be busy after this March 30th YouTube Theater in Inglewood, California. The uh, Cruiserweight Championship will be on the line as Arsen Feroz takes on, come on over here Joel, he takes on Surdo Ramirez. The newest signee to Golden Boy Promotions, Joel Idiarte from Bakersfield, California. Are your first professional away and way different than the amateurs in it. How'd that feel? Yeah, no doubt. I'm excited. <clears throat> I'm excited. Uh, first professional way in and kind of getting the hard part out the way. I'm excited to make this, you know, step into the professional career tomorrow with the, with the knockout, man. So we're excited. All right, how old are you? 20. Right, you're 20 years old. It was talks that maybe you could have gone to the Olympics on that route, but you decided to turn pro. Why Golden Boy? Um, I feel Golden Boys was the best decision, you know. Obviously, me and my team, since a young age, we've been putting the work. And uh, why not have, you know, one of the best promoters in boxing, you know, Golden Boy, and, I, and I'm excited. All right, so you signed the professional contract. They told you you're going to fight in Vegas. Cool. But then due to circumstances, you get moved up. You're going to make your pro debut on the zone. I know you've been watching the fights. How awesome is that for you? Yeah. It's crazy, man. It's a dream come, to, come true. Uh, since a young kid, obviously fighting in Las Vegas has only been a dream, and to make that happen on my professional debut, it's you know it's it's truly a blessing. All right, everybody's looking at you like, okay, he's got the Tomateros cab, he got the Tomateros jersey. That's where the family's from. Okay. Un saludo hasta Sinaloa de Leyva, Sinaloa viejones. Joel Iriarte, good luck to you, man. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Tune in tomorrow. Tune in tomorrow. The zone. Uh, he knows how to promote himself, uh, Joe. That's Joel Iriarte. Who do we got next? All right, thank you, Joel and Bethel. Let's get on to our next fight tomorrow night. Cruiserweights, eight rounds scheduled, featuring Mar Marquise Weston of Tacoma, Washington, and from Texas, Sweet Tea, Tristan Calcro. Marquise Weston. First on the scale for us, 18 fights with a record of 15 wins, two losses and one draw. Eight knockouts to his credit from Tacoma, Washington, official weight. 201.6, Marquise Weston. His opponent, a 13-fight veteran standing at 12-1. and one. He is Sweet T from Duncanville, Texas, Tristan Cowcrow. 198.6 for Cowcrow. He's ready at Cruiser. 198.6 for Sweet T. All bouts again tomorrow night will be featured live on the zone. If you cannot make it inside the Chelsea here at the Cosmopolitan, we encourage you to subscribe and join us on the live feed. On the zone kicks off tomorrow, five on the West Coast, eight o'clock on the east side. Eight rounds of heavy-handed cruiserweight action. Marquise Weston of Washington. Tristan Calcruth of Duncanville, Texas. Both fighters ready to go tomorrow night in that eight round cruiserweight throwdown. Tristan Calcruth in just a moment will make his way up to the stage with Beto Duran as he Lays out the plan of action for tomorrow night on the zone. Golden Boy Boxing here at the Chelsea Cosmopolitan of Las Vegas, Nevada. Uh, Tristan Calcruth, a talented fighter, cruiserweight action. He has one loss, but as we were talking about yesterday at the press conference, in that loss, he dislocated his shoulder, had to have surgery after that. So he fought that fight with one arm. Tristan, get up here, man, representing uh, Texas, Dallas, Texas area, now living in Las Vegas. You look good, man. How do you feel? I feel good, you know, I feel calm, collected, and poised, ready to go out there and do my thing. All right, you've changed some things up. You're from the Dallas area, but you're now training in Las Vegas. Was that Bo Mac yelling at you one time? What's he saying? 
Yeah, he's saying it's, uh, it's go time. You know what I'm saying? Um, I've been training with him since my last fight, October 8th. I've been training with him, my pops, uh, Red, Saul. And uh, it's just, you know, Bomac, he's a, you know, obviously three-time uh, coach of the year winner. You know, he can't, can't get any better than that. He has all the knowledge in his pinky. And uh, he really sharpened me up. And, you know, this is just part of the journey. We go out there and handle, handle our business and do, do, do what I do best. All right, how tall are you listed? Uh, I, I say I'm 6'5". Six 6'5 five. Six five on a good day. And with the hair like 6'7". Yeah, 6'7". Yeah, actually, you know, I'm 6'7". With, with the hair, 6'7". <laughs> All right, normally when you win, you get the backflip, though. You get a little old. You still going to try to uh, backflip? Yeah, I did it the other day. You know, um, you saw on Instagram, I did a little backflip. I was like, you know, I still got it. You know what I'm saying? I still got it. You know, people ask me about it. You know, celebration, all that, that's not my, my main focus right now. It's just I'm, I'm focused on taking one round at a time and getting the job done. And whatever happens after that happens. I will right, well, go put on that show tomorrow, man. Good luck to you. Appreciate it, Beto. Tristan Cal Cruz representing the Texas area, now in Las Vegas. Cruiserweight. A lot of talent with that young man. Golden Boy really high on him, Joe. All right. Thank you, Beto. Let's go on, ladies and gentlemen. Ten rounds of middleweights featuring Jose Sanchez and Eric Priest who puts his undefeated record on the line. Jose Sanchez, he's ready to go. Let's get up on the scale, young man. From Reynosa, Tamaulipas, Mexico, 21-4. and 4, 12 knockouts. Official weight, 160 on the nose. 160 even for the Reynosa native, Jose Sanchez. And his opponent from Kansas City, Kansas, standing undefeated at 12-0, and 0, Eric Priest. 159.6 for the hard-hitting Eric Priest of Kansas City, Kansas. Ten-round middleweight action ready to go. Our third bout on the live card tomorrow on the zone. Jose Sanchez, Reynosa, Tamaulipas, Mexico, 21-4-1 with 12 knockouts. Again, official weight, 160 pounds even. Takes on the undefeated middleweight with an upset in mind. Eric Priest, 12-0 with eight knockouts. And hailing from KC, Kansas. Bet Online, the official sports book experts. All fight odds tomorrow night. Brought to you by Bet Online. Be sure to place your wagers and get in the game tomorrow night. Jose Sanchez, Eric Priest, middleweight action, 10 rounds tomorrow night on the zone. Brought to you by Golden Boy Promotions. Tickets available at Ticketmaster.com. A few tickets remaining for the fight tomorrow at the Chelsea Theater at the Cosmopolitan in Las Vegas. A fantastic hotel. They got everything you need. By the way, Cosmopolitan, fantastic gym. A lot of the fighters getting their work in, shedding the final pounds uh, here at the hotel fantastic work and Golden Boy putting on another show. So the Golden Boy is busy tomorrow live on the zone March 30th in Inglewood. April 4th is Golden Boy Fight Night from Indio, California and of course April 20th it's Devin Haney, Ryan Garcia in Brooklyn, New York. Young man who now trains in Las Vegas it's Kansas, used to be LA. You're just, just a fighter for everybody aren't you? You're from everywhere. Yeah I'm a rolling stone a little bit I guess I would say. You know I've been from uh, like Kansas, LA, now Vegas I guess so, you know, hopping around a bit, but uh, so you, info, you know, you, you made the transition to train in Las Vegas, getting good work, though, fighting at the middleweight division. How much has that helped you in your career? Oh, uh, it's am amazing. You know, it's working with Ismael Salas and uh, my main sparring partner for this camp was Brian Mendoza. So, uh, you know, sparring with like these elite guys, these world class guys, guys that have the belt. Uh, it doesn't get much better than that. So I would say it's been a great improvement. Yesterday at the press conference, Oscar was talking about how much talent you have, the ability that you have, the, the fact that you can rise well if everything goes according to plan. Hearing that from your promoter, how cool does that sound? Uh, so, I mean, hearing it from Oscar, like the golden boy himself, that's, you know, those are, uh, I, I, I want to be able to live up to those expectations, and I, I believe I can, I believe and I will, and I'm putting the work in every single day, and all i got to do is uh, perform. Uh, they're bringing you a tough Mexican opponent. Guys, you've been asking for, you want to be tested. What kind of show are we going to get? You're going to get a good one. Uh, it's going to be excellent. I mean, whatever, whatever, if that means boxing 10 rounds or it means a knockout, it's going to be excellent. So it's going to be good. Right, Eric Priest, good luck to you, man. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Eric Priest, he's a Rolling Stone, Joe. 
Yes, he is. And that undefeated record on the line tomorrow night. We will see what he throws down in the ring for us. Eric Priest and Jose Sanchez, your third fight on the card tomorrow evening. And now we jump into our co-featured bout tomorrow night. Ten rounds this for the WBA International Lightweight Championship. It's brought to you by Oscar De La Hoya's Golden Boy Promotions and in association with Davies Entertainment. The fighters, let's meet them right now from Las Vegas, Nevada, 13-1, and 1, 10 knockouts. Este Uri Suero. He will be first on the scale. One thirty-five even for Este Uri Suero of Las Vegas, Nevada, thirteen and one, ten knockouts, and his opponent, reigning defending WBA International Lightweight Champion, undefeated Kid Austin Floyd Scofield. One thirty-four point eight official weight for Kid Austin Floyd Scofield of San Antonio, Texas. Schofield puts his undefeated record on the line as well. Another one of our unbeaten fighters. Schofield standing at 16-0 with 12 punch-outs on that resume. WBA International lightweight strap on the line. Schofield defending. Este Uri Suero looking to take it home or bring it home to Las Vegas in our co main event tomorrow night. Golden Boy Promotions and Davies Entertainment putting on this co main event live on the zone. The final conversation between these two world class fighters. The leather will fly tomorrow night in that co-main event. And Bethel Duran, you get to talk to both of them, I believe. So we'll send it over to you, my friend. Yeah, we'll be talking to both fighters. Polo Sensu, our translator, will be here. Again, thanks so much to the Cosmopolitan Las Vegas for all the hospitality, taking care of the Golden Boy staff all week long, getting ready for the main event tomorrow. Camarón Cepeda, Maxi Hughes, Mexico and the UK going at it. But the co-feature is going to be a Dominican fighter who's going to be joining us right now. Come over here, and Polo Asensio is going to translate for us. What did you tell him? That title's mine. Don't get used to it because that, that title's going with me to the Dominican Republic. Why are you so confident? I've bet on myself, I bet on my talent, and I bet on all the work that I've done. So you're not intimidated by his record or who he is? No te intimida su marca ni quién es él. No, 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 claro que no. Estoy preparado para él y para cualquiera que venga. No, of course not. I'm ready for him and whoever comes after. All right, well, good luck to you tomorrow. Mucha suerte. Gracias, gracias. Right. Dominican Republic, the co-main is going to be a good one, Joe Martinez. Yes, it is, Bethel. And I know you got Floyd Schofield waiting in the wings as well. So we'll send him up to you right now. The champ undefeated on his way. Yeah, Floyd Schofield making his way over here. Floyd, a kid from East Coast, the South, now living in Texas, walking over here right now. All right, Floyd, Kid Austin's the nickname. What did what, what happened there? He was grabbing your belt. What happened? Uh, he a little too cocky. I mean, he 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 just doing too much right now. So tomorrow night, we're going to see if he got that same energy. All right, so you, you brought the Dominican Republic flag, even though he's from the Dominican Republic. What are your connections to the Dominican? Uh, my grandmother, my father, my mother, you know, we all Dominican. So I'm just going back to my roots ever since my grandmother passed. All right, so it started off amicably. You gave him the flag. Okay, you hold one side, I'll hold the other. It was cool. And then what happened? Like I said, he just, he just got too cocky. I mean, he, he buying off more than he could chew. So y'all going to see tomorrow when y'all got to pick him up, so. Right. He has a good record. He has 10 KOs. He's only lost once. A good opponent. Good test for you. Does he know what he's in for? Oh, no. And I like it like that. You know, I'm going to show him something. He's going to be the example on why everybody know Kid Austin here to stay. All right, you've been good. Obviously, this is a, you focus on your opponent for tomorrow. But what is going on in you and Shakur and everybody else in that division? Like, who, your social media accounts, I can't keep up, man. Who do you want to fight? 
I want to fight everybody. Like I said, it's my job to want to fight the best. He got a belt in my division, so I want the belt. He got to fight me. And if it don't happen now, it's going to happen sooner or later. But if I was him, I would take it now. You know, I'm only getting better from here. But like I said, I'm here to fight the best. And, I, you know, I can't be calling myself the best if I'm not going to take those challenges. So you want the Shakur fight? Oh, yeah, I want the Shakur fight. I want all them fights. Anybody who got a belt, I want y'all. I'm here for legacy. I'm not here for money. Floyd Schofield, Kid Austin. We'll see you tomorrow. Good luck to you. Thank you. All right, you hear it, Joe. That young man is very confident in his ability, but he has a good fight tomorrow. The co-feature live on the zone, Joe. Both fighters very confident in that co main event, which could easily be a main event on most cards throughout the world. And speaking of main events, it's time, ladies and gentlemen, for the main event tomorrow evening. Ten rounds, 12 rounds is scheduled for the IBF WBA lightweight title eliminator. It's brought to you by Oscar De La Hoya's Golden Boy Promotions in association with DeBella Entertainment and sponsored by Ben Online, your online sportsbook experts. It goes down tomorrow night live on zone from here in Las Vegas, Nevada at the Chelsea of the Cosmopolitan Hotel. Let's meet our fighters first. From Yorkshire, Great Britain, ladies and gentlemen, Maxi Hughes. Maximus, Maxi Hughes, the former IBO lightweight world champion, official weight. 134.6 for the former world champion, Maxi Hughes, 134.6. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner tomorrow night from San Mateo, Atenco, Mexico, undefeated, William Camarón Cepeda. 133.8 for El Camarón. Quite a balanced crowd tomorrow night for this main event. The Mexican, William Cepeda, puts the undefeated record on the line as he looks to make a spot in a world title fight in this IBF WBA lightweight eliminator. Maxi Hughes also trying to make his way back to the top in this eliminator. The former IBO lightweight world champion, from Yorkshire, UK. Golden Boy Promotions and Debella Entertainment present the main event tomorrow night. 12 rounds of a lightweight action. The veteran Maxi Maximus Hughes. The undefeated rising superstar, lightweight William Camarón Cepeda, your main event tomorrow night. Both fighters on weight and ready to go tomorrow night again. Maximus Hughes, 134.6, undefeated. Cepeda comes in, 133.8. And we'll get an opportunity in just a moment to hear from both of these world-class lightweight boxers. I think there's a couple of British fans here, Joe. There's some Mexican fans here, too. Camarón Cepeda, Max Hughes, the main event tomorrow live on The Zone. Joined now by Maxi Hughes. Look at your people. Here. Talk to your people, Max. Listen. Yorkshire, 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 Yorkshire. All right. You can scream after I've done the interview, right? But you brought a crowd with you. How awesome is this for you? Listen, we're not here to make up numbers. You know, look at this support. It's phenomenal. We're other side at will. You know, it's a long way for us, but we're, we're not here to make up numbers. We're here to do a job tomorrow night. So we're going to do it in front of all these lot. A massive support, massive thank you. And we get the job done tomorrow. Look at that. You kept saying, you kept saying that you wanted to fight in Las Vegas. You wanted to have an opportunity. You wanted this. You finally got it. But Camarón Cepeda is a tough opponent. 
you feel like you can defeat him? Absolutely, I wouldn't be if, if I didn't think that. I've, I've done it the hard way all my career. Nobody gives me a chance. They always write me off. But I'm confident. These lot are confident. And then we get a job done. I'm here on merit. I've earned my place. I've earned the right to come and fight here. So we're, we're just here. You know, I'm super confident now. All this lot, it's extra fuel on the fire. It, it feels different here in Las Vegas. You get the big fight weekend. You get the fans. You, now you hear the Mexico chant. You hear that? It's going to be an exciting night tomorrow. Absolutely. Let's have it. All right. I got to say it, though. Leeds, Leeds, Leeds. Leeds, 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 Leeds. Yorkshire, Yorkshire. Maxi Hughes. Good luck to you, lad. He got the crowd going here. All right. It's festive here. The UK fans come out. They told me I got to say Leeds, Leeds, Leeds. They got them going. And I said, whatever you do, don't say Emmanuel. Come on! Normally you don't get booed. What do you think about this? ¿Qué te parece esto? La afición está abucheándote con todo. No, pues es una gran emoción el que me estén aquí motivando, apoyando, hasta los aullidos ahí nos motivan. No, it feels great. Even if they're going against me or with me, it feels great. This is this is great. Too much noise. Demasiado ruido, ¿crees que mañana te afecta el ruido? No, no, yo estoy muy concentrado, estoy consciente, es un deporte, eh, cada quien va a salir a hacer su trabajo y yo ya tengo mi plan de estrategia y lo vamos a salir a aplicar. No, I'm focused, this is part of the sport of boxing, everybody has to go out and do their own work and tomorrow I'm going to do mine. All right, Camarón Cepeda, you get the knockout, you throw a lot of punches, what are we going to see from you tomorrow? Camarón, tú eres un boxeador que tira mucho, que consigue los knockouts. ¿Qué vamos a ver mañana de Camarón Cepeda? Bueno, pues vamos a salir a poner nuestro, nuestro estilo, a ir ganando round por round y a aplicar lo que se trabajó en el gimnasio. We're just going to go out there with our own style. We're going to go out there and put on the ring what we did during training cramp and that's all we're going to do. Are we going to see a knockout from Camarón tomorrow? Vamos a ver un knockout mañana de parte del Camarón. La gente lo está pidiendo, todos están motivados y primeramente nos vamos a conseguir uno más. The fans are asking for it. We know we can do it, and tomorrow we're going to find out. Come on. You said anybody in the 135 pound division, that's who you want to fight. You want everybody. It's time for Camarón to make some noise. Dice que en la división 135, tú quieres al que sea. Es tiempo para que el Camarón haga ruido. Es momento de demostrar de qué estamos hechos, y I'm ready to 135. He's at it. He's ready for 135. Send your shout out to all of Mexico. Mexico, Mexico. Mexico siempre ha sido potencia y lo vamos a demostrar. Camarón Cepeda, Maxi Hughes, Mexico, the UK. Good going. Good luck to you, young man. Buena suerte. Here you go. All right, so Camarón Cepeda, Maxi Hughes making all kinds of noise. Joe, close it out. I'll tell you what, Beto, butterflies in the stomach. The arm hairs are sticking up. We are ready for action tomorrow night here at the Chelsea Cosmopolitan of Las Vegas, Nevada. Golden Boy Promotions proudly presents to you an evening of world-class boxing for your entertainment. Be sure to tune in tomorrow at 5 p.m. on the West Coast and join us live around the world for Golden Boy Promotions Boxing.